Good morning, afternoon, wherever that you are. I'm back to Psychotic and welcome back to Amnesia The Dark Descent. When I left off, I honestly don't remember what happened. How did we even get here? Huh. You see, this is, um. <laughs> my memory is failing on me as to what happened because I freaking don't even know. Oh well, whatever. It doesn't matter what happened last. What matters is we're going up this really ominous staircase in the middle of a gigantic room full of cages. So, you know, this can't end badly at all. We're probably not going to die, and we are definitely not getting to the most scary part of the entire game. So, let's just keep going and see what happens. <laughs> okay, well, this staircase goes... Oh, hey. Nice casual mansion. Wow, I missed this part of the house. Hello, painting that turns creepy sometimes. I missed you. You're creepy normally. Just to say no. Um. Oh. Hmm. Okay then. Make it men. Is she dead? Is she dead? I don't know, but this place looks really casual considering the ominous staircase I just crawled up to get here. Ooh, a tinder box. Also, I just realized, um, or I just found out recently that the, um, uh, hard mode of amnesia came out and Call Me Coda is playing it. I'm not gonna play it. <laughs> no. Uh, yep. Oh, ooh, you can read that if you want to. I'm not going to. I picked up a string. So useful. Uh oh. Is it you, my love? I miss the most. Or it is you, my love, I miss the most. Or is it perhaps myself? I know what I may have become. I'm not blind. I am a monster. To them. A demonic sutan purchased of the dark mountain atop. There's a little I can do to redeem myself. The black-edged fears me. No abnormal whatever the heck you're saying. Defeat is only a matter of therefore I will demand my head on a platter to kill them. I must remove myself from this land. This time I must work. It can only return home now. I shall perish. I know I read that absolutely terribly bad, but you know what? Forget you. <laughs> I picked a boil. Oh boy. So is that all I needed in here? A string? Do I need a book? There's very ominous ringing in my ears. And I don't like it. I'm not a fan of ominous ringing and urns. Bad combination. If you see urns and hear ominous ringing, there's clearly a ghost. And you should probably run. As fast as you can. Hello, big painting. There's a very, um, uh, odd set up here you know casual reading work office room and then a big creepy staircase that leads into a room of torture I expect a jump scare coming down these staircases I, I wouldn't I, I would not accept less than a jump scare as soon as I touch the floor okay no jump scare well okay then which door do we want to go to backwards the one to the left the one to the other left but the one straight ahead. To the other left, you say? Okay, let's go. It is very dark in here. Oh, Natalie. I do not like this place already. Hello, Mousy Mouse. How you doing? Oh, great. A torture room! I love torture rooms. Oh, Daniel does not like being in the torture room. <laughs> I don't blame him. Oh, God. The kidnapper sat on her knees while she while her hands tied behind her back. She felt her hands being lifted off her body forward. Her shoulders give away a weight of her own body. Cracking loudly, suspended woman cries or dip hysterically as the man completed her next step. Okay. Turny, turny, turny. Oh, no. Uh. Oh, Daniel, I'm sorry. I, I don't... Why did I do that? Daniel. Oh, Daniel, that was not that... Why am I in here? 
Why, is there even anything of value in here? Oh, it's a pyre of the orb. Oh, great. Why did I do that, Daniel? Mmm. 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 Daniel's not liking that sanity. Okay, um, now seems like a great time to flee the premise. You know what? That room, that looked nice and- Oh! Hello, dead body. Where did you come from? I'm pretty sure these were all empty before. I could be mistaken, though. Now, Daniel is... He's lost his mind entirely. I might start seeing things trying to kill me at random time, but you know what? That's that's just... That's just life. You know, let's just stare... Oh, hey. Yeah, that's real creepy. Mm. Ah, yes. Cockroaches on my face are always fun. Daniel, can you just stare into the nice, wholesome light just for a little while? Take it all in. Relax. Relax, Daniel. It's okay. Huh? What? Oh, was I recording? Oh, snap. Sorry, I got a little sleepy there. Ooh. Okay, Daniel doesn't seem like he's gonna get sane anytime ever. So I'm, uh... Let's just drink some water. Stare into the light, Daniel. Stare into the light, Daniel. Stare into it and see your ancestors. Your ancestors are very disappointed in your actions, Daniel. Oh, hey, that actually helped. Stare into the light some more. Okay, Daniel's doing a bit better. A little bit better. Only a little bit. His sanity... I don't know if he can die from insanity. I actually don't know. Does insanity just make the game harder? Or scarier? Can you actually die from it? Hmm. Interesting question. Um, we went to that door. Now let's go into the one on the left. Shall we? <laughs> What type of horrendous torture room do you have in here? I don't like that. Oh, great. Saw. Yep, Daniel does not like being in here at all. Like, oh, jeez, just walking in here. He is... Oh, Nelly. Yep, let's just get out of here. I got the orb part. Why is that one red? I don't know. But we got the other orb part. We got tinderbox or something. I don't think there's anything else in here. Well, you can't see. Yeah, but Sandy is... Mm -hmm. Sanity is unresponsive. Daniel has lost it. Okay. Daniel, we could just stay insane, but I, I like having control over my camera. Oh, okay. Okay. Why did everything go all red? Is it because I didn't kill someone this time? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, Daniel, time to stare at the light. Take it in, Daniel. Daniel, just calm down. It's fine. It's only a little bit of blood, torture, and murder. Okay, well, Daniel's not getting better anytime soon, and I don't feel like standing here for 10 hours while he stares the candle. So I'm just gonna live life. Hopefully. Okay, time to go straight forward. The one that is clearly a trap. Okay. Whoa. The cradle is ready. Good. You, you're a man. How can you partake in this? Is he all right? He is one of the wicked. Don't pay his lies any attention. 
I thought a bad man. It was an accident. He set a man on fire. It wasn't my fault. Why won't anyone listen? That's horrible. Of course. We are dealing with monsters here. Oh, that doesn't mean they deserve to be tortured, they just deserve to be locked up forever and die. There. Oh god. Yeah, no. No, please! I'll do anything! Uh, Whatever you want! Anything! I'll do anything! Uh, I mean them to! You know what? I have a sneaking idea as to what you're supposed to do with that, um, uh. That there, and I don't want. Oh god, I touched it. The arsonist kept crying as he was slowly lowered on, on and off the impaler. It didn't take much to break him. They had meant for him. They had meant for him to die, but the torture was working beyond their expectations. It wasn't the method. It was the arsonist. He was different from the others. They could make him forget again. The freak! Are they shoving that in him? Ugh. Oh, please, God, save my soul. I need it. Is everything gonna go all red and spooky again? Oh. You know what? That dead body's gone. The texture and colors are constantly changing. Oh. Also, that dead body's gone? There was one there, right? No, there isn't one in any of them. So yeah, the dead guy got away. Glad you got out. Um, am I supposed to go back up here? Or go back and put the pieces of the orb in the thing? Like, they won't stay together. Okay, well, that's a shame. Nothing's happening up here. Uh, crystal clear, apparently. Daniel has... He's... He liked the torture of that one guy, because he died. Or no, he didn't die. So it's fine. So Daniel is nice and cleared up. That, nothing like a little bit of remembering the not death of someone you're torturing to really clear the mind. You know? It's nice. Oh, but Daniel, here's where it gets real scary. <laughs> It's very dark in here. I don't like the noises I'm hearing. Oh, right, that's splashing. Okay, yep, let's not go anywhere near there. Was there something else? No. You seem to have found all the all pieces used in the transfer. Go to the choir and find the rest. Oh, you're letting me in here now? Oh, great. Thanks. Or whatever the frick your name is. I love being here. I got lots of oil, so I shouldn't be too worried. I've been very conservative over my oil and dinner boxes, because I know that this part of the game is where you really need it. Because everything is dark. Okay. Okay, you can read that if you want to read that. I'm not going to, because I can't be bothered to read the hours and hours of dialogue <clears throat> that this game has to offer. In the corner of the black and spiked palace, we have the all-known Alexander who appears from Grandfathers. Yep, something about Alexander. That's all we need to know. There's a tinder box to replace the one I just used. Stealing PewDiePie's jokes. Ooh, we could have lit that lantern with one of our other tinder boxes. But I wouldn't use two tinder boxes on a room that only has one. That's just not smart. To the choir. Qu choir. Whatever the fuck that place is called. <laughs> okay, this place is nice and well lit. But there's lots of chains, so I'm gonna pause that just in case something decides to happen. <laughs> okay, well, that was fun. Um, now seems like a great time to pause it and not play this game anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like or not. See you back here. Either way, 
Please leave a comment down below. Let me know how terrible I've been. As always, we'll see you in the future, my friend.